Good morning, Nigel Ferguson, President and CEO of African Metals. Pleasure to have you here for an interview. Nigel, please explain us, what is African Metals doing currently? African Metals Corp is, is a Canadian company um, listed on the Toronto Stock Exchange, traded in Frankfurt as well. But our uh, main assets are in the DRC province, uh, Katanga province of the DRC. We have um, two packages of licenses, um, one exploration style license, a little bit more advanced because we have some anomalies, and then we have the Louisia South project, which is our uh, lead project. Where are the copper and cobra projects situated you are currently exploring? Certainly, there, um, there are uh, two areas, as I've mentioned previously. The first one is uh, about uh, an hour and a half's drive uh, northwest of uh, Lubumbashi, which is the town, uh, which is the capital of uh, Katanga province. And then the other set of licenses are um, to the northeast of uh, the town, uh, probably about uh, two hours' drive outside of the town. So we have two main areas, basically, yes. Mm -hmm. Has your project any historic resources or production? Certainly the Loisha project does. It has the historical Loisha South Pit um, that was mined back in the 1950s. Uh, high grade, 10% copper, 2% cobalt project. Uh, wasn't very large back then because they only took out the oxide ore, uh, which is why we're looking at it to see what's been left behind. How is the current drill program progressing and when can we expect your first resource calculation? We have um, a small outfit, uh, Titan uh, Drilling Company, um, completing our first drill program on the uh, Louisia project. Two and a half thousand metres of RC, approximately 25, 26 drill holes. There's also some scope for some diamond work as well at the base of that as well to extend it down a bit further. However, we are about 70% of the way through um, our drill program, the RC drill program. We've got some access uh, that's being built into the pit floor and uh, as soon as we have that, we'll be completing the eight or nine drill holes in the pit floor which will uh, finalise the project. Um, I would expect that we would be looking at uh, possibly a month's delay to get the assay results back out, giving time to get them out of the country and put them into the lab. What about infrastructure in the Democratic Republic of Congo and how is it related to the project? Um, well, a lot of people think that it's uh, uh, pro probably one of the, the worst aspects of uh, working there, but uh, I think we're very fortunate in that we have uh, a sealed tarmac road going from Lubumbashi to within uh, less than a kilometre of our site. Um, so we're, we're, we're very easily accessing into uh, to the Louisia project. Uh, we also have the National Railway um, that services all of the mines through there to Colwaisi that uh, comes within 500 metres of our site. It actually runs through our licence, as does the power, the National Power Line grid that runs through our licence. So those three aspects we certainly have covered uh, and we can get easy access to those. What about your current financial situation and do you need capital raising in the near future? Of course, junior companies uh, always seem to, uh, to, to run through their money quite quickly because they're uh, very keen to get results out. Um, we have a fairly solid cash base at the moment of uh, just under $1.3 million. Um, we've committed $800,000 of that to this drilling program, which includes RC and the diamond work plus the assaying and supervision. Uh, so in the very near future we will be looking to come back to the market and raise some more, um, some more cash on the back of those results. And let's talk about the future. What can our investor community expect for the next 12 months from African Metals? Essentially good news flow. Um, we are looking at uh, developing the two projects. We have the uh, less advanced projects where we have anomalous uh, copper and cobalt sitting on uh, four or five uh, large scale anomalies. So we'll be developing those, but more importantly the Louisia project. Um, we expect a constant flow of information coming out of that project. Obviously first we'll be having the assay results from the drill holes. Um, we've just recently had some very good assay results from the channel chip sampling. Uh, we should have a resource uh, completed in uh, August of this year for our maiden resource on the project. And then we will be continuing to infill and extend the resource. Plus, within that licence, we'll extend to the south uh, towards Tiger Resources um, projects where we think there is excellent potential for further deposits to be found. Well, Nigel, thank you very much for the interview. It was very impressive and wish you all the best for the future. It's a pleasure.